all things unexplained. So how now that you've been there, have your perceptions changed? So it sounds like neither of you really were that interested. You weren't asking to go there. You were asked to go there. How have your perceptions changed since you started? Wow. Um, well, so I went on as a pretty healthy skeptic. Um, you know, I, I haven't followed the paranormal space. I wasn't involved in that. Um, and, uh, and I went on thinking that there was a whole bunch of hyped stories, uh, probably greatly exaggerated, and I didn't I didn't put a lot of stock into it. And um, it took me a while. I mean, you know, right my very first time on the ranch, I had my first experience as far as feeling abnormal, feeling out of sorts. Uh, I was in the ranch house, and we were back there doing an inspection, and it felt like the room literally felt like it started to spin, and I started to feel nauseous and some vertigo to the point that I had to back up against the wall and slide down, sit on the floor. I chalked it up as, you know, I must have got low blood sugar or, or you know, lightheaded, something like that. But looking back, you know, that hadn't happened before to me and it hasn't happened anywhere else besides the ranch. So, um, but I went a year or maybe longer uh, before I finally was to the point that I I, I felt more foolish trying to explain it away with rational, mundane logic than I did just finally accepting the fact that there's things happening there that we just don't understand at this point. So, I, you know, my my world's kind of flipped upside down in the past seven years. I, I, I live in a different world today than I did back in, in 2016 when I first went on it. Yeah, I feel that same way having done this podcast, to be honest, like an awakening almost, <laughs> truly. And how about yourself, Eric? You know, I think um, the bar was set at the time of my first visit. You know, I had attended a meeting uh, on Brandon's invitation with some of the folks who were involved previously with the NIDS and Bass era research. Um, you could say that the things that they shared piqued my interest, but they hardly uh, you know, provided a payload of, of, of what we would call data. There was nothing uh, compelling, just very interesting in what was shared with me. So when I finally came out, which would have been in October, I believe it was the, uh, the 14th of October in 2016, I came out with a group of, of, of I want to say it was 11 individuals uh, on site. And immediately, uh, some very unusual things started happening. Um, um, didn't really have a bin. I didn't have a box in my mind, if you will, to put to put these things in. I got, you know, I, I think I've related in other in other venues. I've I've shared uh, some things that have happened with the devices that I carried. I had a phone that was misbehaving when I went to the top of the mesa. Got myself away from other people and saw this this misbehavior of this device like I'd never seen before. Got out to the homestead, and it's interesting, you know, what Thomas has described the the sense of uh, low blood sugar, you know, being you know, this, this vertigo sensation, I, you know, there were several people who experienced that at the same time, again, attended by a malfunction. I could literally see this thing in my hands malfunctioning when uh, uh, I experienced mild vertigo, but others were talking about really feeling like their blood sugar had plummeted. And, uh, you know, that day was just, as I said, very eventful. We had someone who was uh, very adversely medically affected, we think, by his uh, visit to the ranch. Uh, basically lost consciousness for about 10 minutes um, and ended up being, um, as I said, adversely affected medically for a period of about three, three and a half weeks. Um, one of those mystery diagnosis type of circumstances. I don't think we ever really drilled down to what the medical uh, cause was, but it seemed to be something neurological in his case. And then, of course, we have what Brandon has related, uh, you know, a, a, a sighting by uh, Brandon and two other individuals of something, whatever it was, darting around abruptly over the Mesa, um, fitting the description of your classic uh, UFO or UAP. Um, and, you know, he tells the story obviously better than I can. Interestingly, I was right there with him and with those other two individuals looking around in the sky, unable to see whatever it was that they were all pointing to in unison. It was such a bizarre experience. Wow. That, yeah, that's wild. There's been so many things on the show that have really just 
rocked my brain and you've shown several people getting ill. Tom, you especially, season one focused a lot on what happened to you when you guys started digging on the show, but that's just the show. You don't think about what else is happening there when the, when the cameras aren't there. All things unexplained.